Today, I'm going to show you the all-in-one desk rig for YouTube videos and streaming that cuts your setup time in half and takes up zero floor space, apart from obviously your desk. Now, if you're like me, the longer it takes to set up all your gear, the less likely I am to actually want to film a video, especially if you've got limited space, because it's just a pain. You've got tripod, light stands, microphone stands, boom arms, desk, chair, and it all just takes up so much room. Now, I've wanted to condense my setup for a long time, so whenever I do need to film anything, I can start recording with little to no effort as possible. So the Ulanzi rig doesn't take up any floor space whatsoever and it's all based around this one main pole that attaches to your desk and then the other parts as you can see just branch off. So that means you can have whatever combination you want so however you prefer to set things up you can do it. They've also got a top down rig too so you can mount that to the existing rig that you've got and use them both at the same time. So you can get shots like this where you can capture some top down B roll of the product that you're talking about for example whilst you're filming your main A roll video. So what do you get? You get the main pole that attaches to your desk. It actually comes in two parts, but you could just use one to save even more room if you didn't want the extra height. But that's really good for the top down or overhead rig. Or if you want to get your lights a little bit higher, you can do that. Can you see me by the way? <laughs> I know, I'm a little bit far away. Then you've got the camera mount, which actually can extend, so you can make the camera a little bit higher. I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit though. Then you've got the microphone boom arm that can move around in all the directions and more because of this spring-loaded arm. It also comes with a proper microphone clip, or you can easily mount a camera microphone to it like I've got here. Now obviously, because the camera's quite far away, I've had to get an extension cable in order to plug the microphone in, or you can use one of the Rode Wireless Go systems or something like that and then you've got the light stand arm again you can move that to wherever you want it to be so I can bring it all the way around here or I can have it directly in front to light me nice and evenly now it's actually meant for smaller lights but I'm using the Godox ML60 and I'll come back to that a little bit later on so I think it's really well thought out actually it's super easy to get set up and adjust things everything tightens really well so you've got no fear of anything coming loose or falling off it's really lightweight so if you do need to reposition it it's really easy to do you just loosen it and then you can just slide it along your desk into the right position then the main part that you attach it with desk with has a nice soft foam and rubber bit so it's not going to damage your desk now the rig isn't built for holding massive lights you're meant to just put those small ones on there but I've actually been able to use the Godox ML60 which is the mini light there'll be a video up here and it works really well there's no sign of this thing breaking or anything it holds it perfectly fine so that means that I get a really good quality soft light with the smaller softbox that's on here and it's still not a massive setup you can also mount extra accessories to it like I've done here I've got this small rig magic arm and I've put a phone holder there so I can see what I'm saying while I'm doing these videos so that's super handy you can mount whatever you want with any space that you've got left on that main pole. Now let's look at some disadvantages to this rig. First of all, the wobble. As you can see, it's a little bit wobbly. However, I will say that that is largely down to this desk. I'm using a very cheap IKEA desk. I have tested it on my more sturdy desk and there's nowhere near as much wobble. If you move the individual arms, there's a little bit of wobble this isn't a good example because I've not tightened the camera up. The wobble is, isn't near as much, whereas if you wobble the table, it does. And you might have seen in a couple of my last videos, there's a little bit of wobble in the corner. But after that, I realized if you turn the lens stabilization on, it gets rid of that wobble and it's absolutely fine. So not a massive issue. Now it's probably not gonna hold the weight of a full camera rig setup with monitor mounted on there and everything. So you'll have to get yourself a little tripod and a longer HDMI cable and just put that on the desk so that you can monitor what you're doing. I would have liked the camera mount to be able to go a little bit lower because the pole is a little bit high, even at the lowest setting. You can extend it so you can bring it higher, but you can't bring it any lower. And that'd be really handy because sometimes I want to show a little bit more of the table without angling the camera downwards. But I think for the price, it works so well. And I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. I really enjoy it because there's just no time to set up whatsoever. I just leave everything where it is. If I do need to pull anything out of the way, I can just quickly move it and then put it back to where it was. 
So now you have a camera setup that stays where it is and it's not taking up any room. And that means there's no more barriers standing in the way of making YouTube videos. So no more excuses. <laughs> if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notified of new videos when I upload them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.